All right. Tyler Burdan coming out for Marysville. Another freshman. Coach Meyer got a lot of young wrestlers in the starting lineup. At 152 pounds, he's it's gonna take on Jacob Siraki, a senior. This will be quite a matchup for uh, the young wrestler. Either way, it's a good way for him to learn. Um, it's nice that the coach has the younger guys getting out there to wrestle at the varsity level. Um, the, even if it doesn't turn out the way they want it to, it'll give them experience and have them get better as they wrestle further into their career. Wrestling is an individual sport, but it's also a team sport, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot of what your team has support with you, your coach is training, in, but a lot of it does have to do with you getting out there and getting your work done. All right, Berdan, Tyler Berdan into the inner circle. Again, Soraki for the Muskrats. We're underway. The senior probably feeling a little bit confident, wants to test the freshman right away. All right, what they're doing when they're tapping each other's heads is they're testing distance so they can lock up like they are right now. Um, a lot of what you're going to do when you're locking up is you're fighting for more of inside control. All right, good single leg. All right, good job by Tyler. Staying face down now. Don't get rolled over. Siraki's trying to get those arms in position. All right, Siraki, when he has his, um, putting his arm on the back of um, Berdan's neck is so you can get more control of him. Put and that leverage, push you know, him right down into the mat. Yeah, and then it causes him to have to spread his arms out to try to break off the forearm on his neck and it gives you a good idea to get under his arms so you can flip him to pin him. Okay, crowd's gotten a little bit quieter now. It's kind of drawn to a bit of a standstill. Berdan's working hard to fight him off. 50 seconds left in the first period of his match. It's tied six to six right now. Vikings took the first match. Algonac Muskrats took the second. Quick break. But. All right, it looks like they had an illegal head scissors on um, the Elginac, on the Elginac Siraki. Uh, Siraki, yep. And um, now they're going to start in the referee's position with um, Dan will be down Dan on in the, the down position this time. Yep. Good, good job. Now Berdan's oh. going to want to either stand up and peel or sit out, which is Got to get up so he doesn't have the guy on his back. Now what he's doing when he stands up and he's pushing down on his hands yep. is he is trying to um, peel the peel Siraki's hands off from around his waist, mm -hmm. like he is right now. Because if no, see how Siraki had back control, so it was easier for him to take him to the ground. It's two to one right now in favor of Berdan. With Twelve seconds to go in the first period. Tyler's battling hard. Coach Meyer and Coach Palazzolo is doing a lot of coaching from the sideline. And that is the end of the first period. It's nice to see the intensity between both the coaches coaching their wrestlers through the entire match. Good hustle between both the wrestlers. You can tell they're both working hard. Okay. Again. Referee Liebling getting it all set up for period number two. Berdan will be in the down position again. Like I said earlier, he's gonna be looking to sit out or stand up and peel. He's going with the stand up and peel off his hands. Oh, he gets a good suplex. Good job getting to his feet. The senior has got his hands full with the young freshman, Berdan. Tyler's got a little bit of experience doing this. Yeah. He's fighting him off hard. All right, looks like he's trying to get him in the cradle to get him on his back. Oh, but an out of bounds stops his momentum. That's good for Berdan. Stays two to one in favor of Tyler Berdan and the Vikings with 140 to go in the second period. Berdan's doing a good job of keeping him off his back and getting the, so he doesn't keep getting takedowns, so it keeps Berdan ahead with the points. All right, he's locking his legs so he cannot stand up or base out. So he can't stand up. <coughs> got a, almost got a little bit of a roll on him. 
See that forearm again, pushing that leverage down into the mat. Viking team encouraging their teammate on. All right, he's got him in another cradle again. Let's see if um, Bernan can get out of it again this time. This is a right, tough position. Over. Now he's got to keep his arm down there, just keep his shoulder up. And if he can get out of there, it'd be a lot easier, if, like his legs where he's holding them. He it'd be easier for him to stand up. Oh, like he got he a nice did. roll. That's good. 45 seconds to go. Five to one in favor of Berdan. That last move. All right, he's got doing the forearm thing so he can get the arms out. He's going to try to get a lot of control of his upper body. Upper neck strength there. You hear the coaches yelling, keep your head up, keep your head up. Staying spread out, 20 seconds to go in period number two. Five to one, still in favor of Berdan. Really fighting hard. This is a big match for him as a freshman to take on a senior. That's great. He's doing very well for wrestling varsity for his first time as a freshman. He's doing great. Three, two, one, and done. All right, two periods, and Tyler Burdan has a five to one lead. Overall, it's Algonac six and Marysville six. Like I said at the beginning, um, the conditioning is really a big factor in this. Um, keeping Burdan like, so he's not out of breath all the time. Uh, it's keeping him in good shape so he can keep moving along through the match and through the periods. Once again, we're at the 152 pound weight class. Tyler Burdan for the Vikings. Has a five to one lead over Jacob Siraki from Algonac. Tyler is battling hard. Good job by the Vikings. Wayne Height started us off with a pin in the first match. Tyler Burdan would like to keep the momentum going in the Vikings' favor. A minute 20 to go in the third period of this match. sraki has got um, Burdan down on his back. Oh, nice roll, though, keeping the momentum going with whatever way he's spinning them. If you spin the exact same way, it seems like you're putting your shoulder down, but if you go hard, you can keep going all the way around, and like he did. He's battling hard. We've got a minute to go in the match. He's really working to keep those shoulders off the mat. Good job by Tyler. A lot of heart, a lot of determination. Siraki is the senior, has the upper hand as far as experience, but Tyler is battling them every second. 45 seconds to go in the match. Now Berdan should be looking to try to bridge or roll more. This has got to be tough, too, this early in the season to have a real tough match. The conditioning maybe isn't quite there. And unfortunately, with a 7-1 to one lead that uh, slipped away with 27 seconds to go in the third period, good hard match by two good wrestlers. That was fun to watch. Uh-huh. That was really nice good of Berdan that he was able to keep with it for that long, being as young as he is and moving into a varsity class as a freshman. Might have a, uh, a void coming up at the 160 in favor of uh, in favor of the Muskrats. 